2021 is at its end. Some of you have experienced hardship and some great success and joy in the past year. But now it's time to reset and plan for 2022 to make it a year of abundance. To start off our design, click on create a design at the top right. Click on custom size and type in the dimensions of the pages you want to create. I usually use A5 dimensions. If you don't know this platform, Canva.com is a very user-friendly graphic design website that's free. It has a paid version as well, which is the one I'm using. The paid version just has a lot more options when it comes to creating designs. On the left side, I clicked on elements and searched for dandelion. Then I clicked on graphics. This is the theme that I want to go for. I wanted something simple yet beautiful, and I think the dandelion works perfectly. I went with a pinkish red color for all the decoration elements. The first two pages is where I collect all the possible decorations that I want to use throughout my 2022 setup. Now it's time to create the cover page. I copied this graphic from the first page to use as decoration on the cover page. On the left I clicked on text and then add a heading. With the paid version of Canva, I have a lot more font options, as well as more graphics, photos, effects, etc. But even if you have the free version and want a font or element from the paid version, you can buy that element separately. I added another text section and typed make a wish. I thought this would be a cute saying for 2022 that goes with the dandelion theme. The saying could imply wishing for something that you want to see happen in 2022. I played around with some of the dandelion graphics until I was happy with the look. To create the look I wanted, I played around with the orientation and sizes of the graphics. I also cropped a few here and there. I wanted it to look like the little dandelion seeds are being blown off the stems by the wind. Next, we'll be creating our year at a glance spreads. Under elements on the left, I tried to find a 2022 calendar that I could use instead of creating each month separately. I cropped it and copied it to the desired size. The year at a glance will be stretching over two pages, with January to June at the top and July to December at the bottom. I clicked on the little square with a number on it at the bottom right to get an overview of all the pages and to see if the monthly calendars are in line. Under each month, I want to have a space to write important dates. So I went to elements and searched for lines under photos. I cropped the lines to the desired size and copied them for each month.
I regularly go back to the overview to see if the decorations are balanced. At the top, I want the words year at a glance to stretch over the two pages. I played around with the positions and sizing of everything until I was happy with how it looked. Quick tip, the more you zoom in, the more finely you can adjust positions and sizing. I will be making this 2022 setup available on my Etsy shop as a printable, so you guys can just go to the link in my description box if you'd like to purchase these designs. I'll also be creating a January setup which will also be available on Etsy, so make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss that video when it comes out. The next page will be for my 2022 goals. For each goal, I wanted to create a little box with a drop shadow. I went to elements, then clicked on lines and shapes, where I found this box element. I changed the colors to fit the theme and then copied the box multiple times. To decorate this page, I decided to cover the entire background with dandelion seeds. I filled the empty spaces by copying and cropping the same images. I made the dandelion seeds in the background a bit more transparent so that the title and boxes stood out a bit more. For the next page, I used the same type of background and just copied it from the goal spread. This page will be where I write my master task list for the year.
For this spread, I decided to insert each line separately because there wasn't really a graphic or photo that worked for what I wanted. You can go to Elements, then Lines and Shapes, and then click on the first line. You can stretch the line to the desired length and adjust the thickness and type of line at the top. Then, just copy the line multiple times and move it to the desired position. Next, I wanted to add a checkbox on each line. Also under lines and shapes, I chose this square and shrunk it to fit on a line. Then I just copied it multiple times. For some final touches, I went back to my year at a glance and spread out the title a bit more. I also went back to my goal spread and made the boxes a bit more transparent. Next, I'm going to add a blank page after every spread for printing purposes. You'll see why this is necessary in a bit. I downloaded the setup in PDF format. Now it's time to print it. To print the cover page, I entered page 1 and selected 2 pages per sheet. The scale is set to fit to paper, but with the printer I'm using, it will still have a thin white border around the edge of the page when it's printed out. To print the next page on the back of the cover page, I inserted the page back into the printer feed exactly as it came out. Now I'm going to set the printer to print pages 2 and 3 so that the design is on the right side of the page. This is why I added blank pages in between the spreads. Repeat this process for all the other pages. Now I'm going to use a page from my November planner as a template to draw where I should cut the page and punch the holes.
Now it's time to cut the pages. You can cut off the little white borders around the edges of the pages if you'd like, but I don't mind it. Plus, I like the extra space on the left side for the punch holes. To punch the holes, I'm using this regular hole punch. I just remove the bottom piece so that I can see where I'm punching the hole. This is why I marked the holes on the pages, so that I know where to punch the holes. And that is it for my 2022 printable planner using Canva. Remember that this setup will be available on my Etsy shop as well as my January setup that will be coming soon. So make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any new designs coming up and also please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Comment down below what themes you would like to see in 2022. I'm always looking for new ideas. And then I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!